the last two years we've been looking at over a, well, including over a thousand young people, uh, really exploring what technologies they use, why they use them, and looking at some of the challenges around that, how it shapes their, their identity, their health behaviours, and really getting a better understanding of uh, what they're doing in life. But young people want connection, they don't just want to use technology. Um, I think that a really pressing issue for me is how we develop peer mentors and how we can utilise young people um, alongside a professional workforce and digital technology, because for me it's about a mixed model. The most urgent issue I think for digital health is to create an environment that's sustainable for the development of the next generation of applications. They're just isn't an economic model at the moment that sustains the ecosystem and we need to really solve that problem. Some of the significant uh, themes that have come through have really been around things like the pervasiveness of body ideals within social media and how that can lead to forms of um, body disaffection or anxiety. So for me the most urgent thing in digital health is the way in which we're trying to educate people to understand what's coming down the pipeline. We have a huge gap in digital health literacy at the moment which means people don't quite understand how to work with these new platforms but also how to fit them into their everyday lives. We're looking at dealing with uh, mental health issues through digital resources. I think what's really important is to find new ways, perhaps using digital tools to prevent mental health problems from developing in the first instance. And if people can't negotiate them, understand what they're about and how they impact upon their freedoms, their liberties, what they're doing when they share data, there's a huge democratic problem, I think. So making sure that people are ready and able to understand what's going on is crucial. Um, young people are actively using things like tracking devices and, and wearable technology to monitor their everyday practices and that includes things like sleeping, uh, diet, menstruation, mental health. Um, so overall there's a, a whole range of technologies that young people are accessing. Having all this technology and not having human connection is, is uh, a big issue and so I think how we want to um, integrate those things is, is really the next big thing. Uh, I think we're still really at the start point uh, of the digital health journey and I think the next big thing is going to be um, much more collaboration between behavioural psychologists and developers and end users to curate and develop the next level of applications that are really going to sustain and make a difference. I think technology kind of evolved a lot faster than we've been able to keep up with so it's just a matter of catching up and making it safe. I think the project's legacy will be continued conversations across multiple groups that have a role to play around the future design and development um, of digital health technologies. So um, there's lots more to do, lots more to understand, but I think we've, we've started that process of mapping out key milestones um, and raising, I think, some, some critical agendas for future conversation.